one time coming back from Albury Wodonga, I'd passed two dead echidnas on the side of the road, which you hardly ever see. And I drove all the way back to Melbourne, got my big Waco Esky, drove back 150 kilometres back up the highway, picked up the two dead echidnas, drove back to Melbourne and boiled them up in big pots in my backyard in inner city Melbourne. <laughs> yeah, it was fun. My name's Marie Clark. I'm connected to the traditional lands of Mari Mari, Yorta Yorta, Bunurong and Wamba Wamba peoples. I'm a practicing artist, have been practicing for over 32 years. I started by making jewelry out of timber and seed pods and gum nuts and things, and then moved into working with more traditional elements like the kangaroo tooth necklace. I do a lot of research in museum collections and learn how the traditional objects were made and replicate that and then pass that knowledge on to the next generation. And it's just the most incredible thing to be working in my backyard, you know, with nieces and nephews who still want to hang out with their auntie and learn culture. And I remember like working on possum skin cloaks and the kangaroo tooth necklaces and my husband's taught the boys and the girls how to pull the sinew out of the tail of a kangaroo and nobody wanted to go back to cloak making they just wanted to keep pulling the sinew out of the tail and binding the teeth to make the necklaces and then I also make river reed necklaces and I started first off by making a 10 metre river reed necklace for the Koori Heritage Trust based in Melbourne. And then I started supersizing them to 50 metres. It's a bit of a wow factor and people take notice and it talks about the loss of land, language and cultural practices on this you know, huge scale. For this particular exhibition at MCA, I wanted to have a whole black collection but of course kangaroo teeth are white and they're organic. So I got Canberra Glassworks to fabricate black glass crystal. I just thought it would be a beautiful thing to do. They also, you know, fabricated the, the black glass river reeds and the glass seed pods that are now filled with ochre from country. And I call those ones a moment in time. And then also, as part of this exhibition, I've photographed two of my nephews. I wanted to have the boys wearing the necklace this time because I haven't photographed my nephews wearing any of the jewellery. It's usually my nieces. And those particular necklaces were given to people passing through country, Bunurong country, as a sign of safe passage and friendship. So I would hope that people who see the exhibition that you know, here in the 21st century, my glass kangaroo tooth necklace is just as valid as the historical kangaroo tooth necklaces. And the glass river reed necklaces are just as valid as the traditional ones. <laughs>